What is cracking, boys and my ladies? It is Ren Creates, and today, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys all the locations that are larval tiers in Elden Ring. The use of larval tiers in Elden Ring is to use them to respec at Queen Renala. However, you're only allowed 10 respecs per playthrough, and the amount of larval tiers is fixed in Elden Ring, meaning you cannot farm them. So this video is gonna be showing you guys all the locations. And if you guys run out, you're going to have to go into another playthrough if you want to do this again. If you want respect again, although you only get 10 respects per playthrough. And we're going to be getting quite a bit over 10. So you should be in good hands. With all that being said, let's get into today's video starting right now. Okay, so we're going to start in order here. So let's first go to Limgrave. So you guys are going to want to make your way over to the Akio Lake South Site of Grace. And you guys are going to want to head in my direction. And, and you... And you guys are going to find this one lone sword wielding wandering noble. When you attack him and kill him, he's going to turn into a lesser rune bear. And once you defeat him, you're going to obtain yourself a larval tier. Now keep in mind, if you're doing this early game, lesser rune bear can be a tough opponent. But once you get him down, you'll be in good hands. In Larunia the Lakes, if you guys make your way over to the village of Alberunix and go straight to the left, I want to say, you're going to make your way over to this gravesite, and there's going to be a larval tier on one of the caskets. Okay, this one can be a bit confusing, but from the Rose Church, follow the direction I'm going, and you're going to find a giant crayfish that's just walking around. There's going to be four of them, and the one that's walking is actually a grafted scoin. So bring some flasks, because you're going to need to kill both the giant crayfish, and on top of that, you're going to have to fight a grafted scoin. Which again, these two can be very difficult if you guys are low level, so keep that in mind. This next one, you're going to have to make your first stop over at the Carrion Manor. So for our next location, we actually have to go over to the Carrion Study Hall Artist Shack first. And in there, you're going to obtain the Resurrection Painting. You're going to need this because we're going to have to go to the Carrion Manor. And you're going to have to defeat Royal Knight Loretta and make your way down east to the Graveyard. There you're going to find a spirit, and just upon touching him, he's going to disappear, and you're going to obtain yourself yet another larval tier. The last one we can find in Larunia the Lakes is going to be purchased by Pedia, Carrion Servant. Now keep in mind, you can only buy one of these, but there's two ways you could obtain it. You could do it while he's still alive, before you complete Ronnie's side quest. Or you can do it afterwards. You start from Selvis's Rise and just follow the cliffside until you guys find a place where you can actually drop down into. From here you're going to drop down a few planks and make your way down a ladder to find him here. There you can buy his larval tier for 3000 runes. There's only one larval tier in Kaled. However, make your way from Kaled Highway south side of Grace and going directly south, you're going to find a troll that's dressed up as an undead soldier next to all the tombs. Again, a lot of these enemies can be very tough if you're low level, so just keep your wits about you and you should be fine. In the Atlas Plateau, if you guys make your way from the Rampire side of Grace and go north, you guys are going to notice that in one of the ruins, there's going to be an undead soldier in the corner. Upon attacking him, he's going to turn into a Lion Guardian, and you're going to have to kill him in order to obtain your next larval tier. Now, Mount Glemmers can be a bit difficult, but make your way from the Road of Inquity side of Grace, and you're going to go directly south. From there, you're going to attack this one sort of on-fire corpse, and he's going to transform into a colossal worm face. You're going to have to defeat him in order to obtain your next larval tier, but keep in mind guys, he does incredible death blight damage, so I recommend using spells on him. So there is one in Consecrated Snowfield, but I'm going to skip this one because this one is such a hassle to get, I know, I know, I'm not keeping true to the all are real tiers but you guys can look up a guide on it if you want i think it's way too difficult for this to be quote unquote simple but anyways make our way to see for a river really, this one is kind of well hidden if you don't look around but follow the path i'm going until you make your way up these ladders walk across this bridge of planks and upon dropping down you're going to find a nomadic merchant that sells a larval tier for 3000 runes So now for the big two, Nukron. In Nukron, you can find one on a corpse inside a stone building that you're following right to the site of grace there. 
The next one can be found in this sort of gazebo structure. It has a Nox Warrior and a Larvial tier right before it. From there, you can pick up the Larvial tier, but watch out for the other Silver tiers that might try to ambush you from above. Upon making your way down to the Knight Sacred Ground site of Grace, there's going to be a ball in this room that has a Nox Warrior in it. Upon killing this one, you guys are going to obtain a Larvial tier. However, I recommend going towards the door first and getting the ball stuck there so you can easily wail out to get this larvial tier. In the final one, you guys are going to have to defeat the mimic tier boss fight, which, which you aren't going to have to go out of your way to do if you're doing Ronnie's side quest. And I recommend taking off all your gear before the boss fight so you actually have a very easy chance of beating him without the hassle, unlike me here. Upon defeating the mimic tier, you're going to obtain two larvial tiers. And for our final stop, we're going to no Castell. Now, there's apparently three here, but I couldn't find all them. So instead, we're just going to grab the one very simple and easy one. From the grace, you're going to run up all these stairs, past all the larval tiers, past all the silver tiers, and at the top, you're going to find another giant ball. Up. Upon killing this one at the bottom of the steps, you're going to obtain another silver tier. And yes, I know, I did miss out on three, so technically you could have 18. You always check out Vertex Life's videos, I'm sure they made a bunch of videos on it online. But, but that is 15 simple locations to finding larval tiers in Elden Ring. If this, I know a lot of people have been looking for content like this, so I want to make a video on it. And I do hope you guys enjoyed and got value. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Seriously guys, it's very appreciated for the hard work I've but also subscribe and hit the notification bell along with hitting me up on email notifications if you guys would like more videos from if you guys want more Elden Ring videos because I do have an Elden Ring playlist where you can join the journey between the lands between and obtain your power there with over 110 videos that I made over the month's time of the game's release on how to help you through Elden Ring. But why not join my Discord while you're at it because we are all about Elden Ring there and if you ever need help or want to just chill and chat everybody there is open and welcome to but if you guys have any other social medias check mine out in the description below also make sure to use my coupon code rencreates over at aalia.com to save three percent on your next purchase to get any runes gear talismans weapons and any other type of item you might need to help you guys but yeah, I really do appreciate you guys watching today's video. I hope that this helps you guys out with your larval tier escapades. And until next time, take care. And rise, my fellow tarnished. And honest to goodness, get yourself some larval tiers.